It's a bonfire. I can't be hard to miss. Must look. Lost <laughs> out there. <laughs> Spotted. Someone 
question for you. What's the deal? Huh? You just drag people in here, fuck with them, steal their shit, and then what, take it all and throw in the bonfire out there? Is that the idea? Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Yeah. Got another question for you. Where's my cut? What? My cut, my leather jacket, my fucking leather jacket. Who took it? Don't? No. Okay. Wait, 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 he just left! He just took it and left not long ago! Join us, brother. This is it. All right, what have we got? He just left. Over here. Do me a favor. Take that shit off. We will cut away your soul! Thanks. Get little asshole. Something moved in there. We 
What was that? You will never be found. No! <laughs> no! Motherfucker! Lisa. Lisa, listen to me. Okay. They know you freed me. It's not safe here. So come on. Come on. No. Fine. Don't come with me, but you can't stay here. You have to run because they will kill you. Do you understand me? Yeah. Go! the roads. Keep moving no matter what. Go. One mind. Boozer, you there? Boozer, if you can hear me. Look, it's Schizo. He sold me out. The Rippers. Boozer, they're coming. Warn Iron Mike.
Back to my bike. by that house with a bonfire. This is it. I should've never let Schizo talk me into that shit. I am such an idiot, I should've seen it coming. How the hell did I let Schizo get the drop on me?
Robinson. Carlos. Little life piece of shit. I will come. Jack should have done more to burn your tat off, Jesse. Should have slit your goddamn throat. Are you on the path? Do you see? Get him! Mm. Burn, you asshole! Almost there. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Schizo's on his way with Rippers. Do you read me? Does anybody read me? Lost Lake. Damn it! There. There, it's still there. Oh. Ah, Boozer. Are you there? Ricky, Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Yeah, it's me. Wait, hold on. Deacon, I sent riders to find you. Ricky, the Rippers are after Boozer. Deacon? No, no, no. Hey, hey, don't shoot. It's Deacon. My Mike sent us to find you. Rippers! Keep going. I'm going to off you. We need to get back to the camp. Don't worry, I got this. We got to stop him. Keep going! Okay, I'm not gonna hurt you. Come on. Okay. Come on. 
Hey, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It ain't deep. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Now listen, listen, look at me, look at me. I'm looking for Boozer and Schizo. Do you know them? Do you know where they are? I don't know. I don't know. And they, everything just, just happened so, so fast. They, they, were, they were everywhere. They, the Rippers, they were all over the, the camp and they were huh? torturing us. They, yeah. they took me. They, they took Chad and Eric and Glenn. Hey, listen, what's your name? Nicole, do you know how to use a gun? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. You said to up there. I want you to go up there. I want you to lay down. If any rippers come through here, you blow their goddamn heads off. I'm gonna go find your friends. Okay? Go. Thank you. 
assholes kill any more of my people. That did it.
so hard. Thank you. Quiet. No time for that now. You guys know her Cole, right? All right, listen to me. Head west to the footbridge. She's up in the watchtower. You go there, you help her. Well, I don't want any more rippers coming in through the marsh. You got it? You're a godsend. I was praying so hard. Good. Then go. Go! All right, Nicole. I did my part. Now you do yours. Oh! 
and we're gonna stay inside. I, I heard someone yelling. I just, I just couldn't let him die. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What the hell was that? <gasps> it's over. Yeah, Iron Mike negotiated a ceasefire. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Let's go find out. Are you okay? Come on. I'm sorry about everything. Oh, God, me too. Mike, this is all just a big misunderstanding. They only want- You attacked my camp. Murdered my people. You call that a misunderstanding? Mike. You broke our treaty. You come onto our land. We, you steal our supplies. Deal you attack you it. You attack my son people. Of a bitch. Mike, listen to me. I made a deal. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, weapons, get low, weapons brother. down. Get low. Hold. Hi, right, Skizzo. I'd like to hear about that deal. God damn it. Just wait. Why don't you tell him? Wait. Tell him how you sold us out to them. What the hell do you want me to do? Oh, oh God damn it, Skizzle. Why don't you tell him or I'm gonna cut your throat? Okay. Okay! I made a deal with Carlos. Okay? Mike? But it wasn't. It wasn't to sell out the camp. I swear. It was just them, the two of them, him and Boozer. That's all that he wants, just them. Yeah, how's that deal working out for you? I did it to save the camp, Mike. I did it to fix shit, to restore the treaty he broke. Mike. Zeke, it's good to see you breathing, but let him go. Yeah. Deke. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so... Is what he says true? About you making a deal? Only lost ten lies. Yeah. It's true. Okay. So we give you Deke. William. Biker boats, whatever the fuck you want to call them. But you leave Lost Lake alone. You will rest in peace. You have my word. And that's something, isn't it? Your word. Grand fucking Poobah of the R.I.P. Hey, hey, we come here under a flag of truce. Truce, my ass! This is my camp. My people. You don't come here with some blood-stained flag of truce and demand shit! Not from me! Now, I don't care what you think these boys have done. I don't care why you want them. All I know is you're not getting them. We had a deal. No, this is the deal, Carlos. And it's the only one you're getting. Now you take your people, and you get the hell out of Lost Lake. But we all die together. Right here. Right now. No treaty stands. Always has. From where I'm standing. You son of a bitch! Loser! All right. Escort them out of my fucking camp. Hey, uh... We ain't through. Carlos. Get low, brother. Deke, <laughs> stand aside. Stand aside! I just want to say... Take him to lockup. Oh, fuck that, we'll take care. Get off him! I keep trying to tell you boys something. And you won't listen. This is not how we do things around here. We do not barter with lives, and we do not murder people in cold blood. Get him out of here. Get off me. We're gonna give him a fair trial. Like civilized people. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I'm not sorry, Mike. I'm not. God damn it, I tried. I tried to save his camp. 
The Rippers won't stop. Carlos is not gonna stop! You hear me? They won't stop! You know who that was? Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess being a cult leader at the end of the world wasn't enough to keep him busy. He was after some payback as well. That motherfucking son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing he's known about us for quite some time. That night at Crazy Willie's, that wasn't some random ripper attack. And just because it was going to sell us out to him? Where'd they take him? I'm going to find him and break his fucking oh, neck. Hold up, please, Schizo, for right now. Get your gear together, some Molotovs, all the ammunition you can carry. But what are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. idea, but we're going to do it anyway. I need to go and get the explosives from the lodge and then that corp from Schizo's cabin. Meet me at the bridge. I'll explain on the way. Hey, you good with this, brother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ricky, I'm here. Hey, listen, I don't have time. What the hell happened? I just saw them locking Schizo up and I... Yeah? Good. No, I don't have time to talk. And Carlos and all the Rippers just rode out after everything they did. <clears throat> yeah? Okay, great. Talk to Iron Mike about that bullshit. I will, but I need to talk to you. I don't want you doing anything. Look, Ricky, you are talking to me. Face to face, Deke. It's important. <sighs> it's always important. Ricky, look, I gotta go. Deacon, wait! Sorry, Ricky. We're gonna talk again later, all right? Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy, so listen up. The war on terror was just smoke and mirrors, started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at him. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to... Now I just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. Hey, what's this?
<laughs> you two were always so close. Yeah, you really were like a brother and sister. Life, you know, from before. You're like a bunch of Alzheimer's patients. So only That's all I got for now. You want to tear your guts out? Deacon, good to see you. Blair. How's it going? Uh, yep. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Hey, Deacon. Buzz. I don't even know where to start. Oh, yes, your bike's drained, Deke. Need fuel? No idea how to fix it. Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? I can never really find anything. Wrench. That's a good piece. Nice and sturdy. You go through a lot of this shit, yeah? Should have new shit later. Stop by. Deacon St. John, how have you been? <laughs> 